quickly. Uh, we want to go over three main um, resources for parents. Um, the first one here that we have is ebooks. Okay, so ebooks are awesome. If you can't make it out to a library, if you have a library card, pretty much anywhere in the world you can access our e resources. All you have to do is just live in the state of Texas and you can access that. So live in the state of Texas, if you travel, then you can access our e resources. Um, could you go to that next slide, Gabby? So here are just some of the e-resources we have, um, different apps. So what this really is, is just different places we pull our e-resources from. So these are e-books, comics, audio books, things like that. The first one I see is Overdrive. Overdrive is fun. Um, they have a nice app, and I, I don't know if I'll be able to share my screen. I can actually show this in a bit of a better light. Mm -hmm. Let me see here. Oh, to say, this is disabled participant screen sharing. Okay, so it doesn't look like I'll be able to do that. Um, but Overdrive is just one of the places where we pull our e-books. Access 360 is another. Hoopla is another. You can get movies on Hoopla, I know. Um, let's see here. And so I was going to um, show us. I know us a lot of times we get the question of how many items can we check out at once and how long you can check them out for. Um, mm -hmm. So this table that we have here, you can actually find on our website. Um, and you can, um, it tells you, um, for most of them, it's uh, 10. So for Overdrive and Access 360, you can check out check out up to 10 books if you want to read 10 books at once. Um, and then for Comic Plus, it's five and Hoopla is eight items. Um, like Alonso said, it's not just eBooks and some of these websites is um, movies or re videos for different resources, um, music, different things like that. And you can find most of these on the Apple Store or Google Play, which is which is kind of neat. So you can get it on your phone, your tablet, um, or your computer if you want. Think All you need is your library card. <laughs> yes. Um, the next resource that we want to talk about, um, which is uh, similar to Khan Academy. I learned a lot about Khan Academy. So, <laughs> um, so another resource um, that the library provides um, with the library card. So um, is BrainFuse. In this resource, um, if you don't have a library card, it is something that you usually have to pay for. It's a paid subscription. Um, but if you have your library card or your child has a library card, they can access this for free. Um, and there's actually um, resources on here for all ages, um, including parents, which is kind of cool. So um, well, I'm going to go briefly over each one of these, but we'll be talking about live tutoring, um, language lab, um, which allows you to learn different languages which is kind of cool, um, e-parachute and adult learners. Um, so live tutoring. Um, this um, program, this um, website allows you to do a free tutoring with your kids or they can do it on their own. They just go on there, specify their grade level, the subject that they um, are struggling with, um, and they'll be able to join a 20 minute session with the live tutor um, who will you know, walk them through whatever their issue is, if it's homework help that they're needing with, or they just are having trouble understanding something in class. Um, and this also works for college students, any age, they just go on here. And if you as a parent or your child is in a class, um, a Spanish classroom, you can also request a translator to be in Spanish. Um, and I'm not aware of this other languages, but I know for sure that there is Spanish translation. So yeah, I think it's just English and Spanish, which I think is kind of cool. And this is 24 seven. So if a child is trying to finish a homework um, late at night or something, they can always just hop on here um, if you can't assist. Um, the next thing, so e-parachute is part of, um, of this program, of this website. Um, so this one is more for the high school kids or middle school kids who are thinking about what they want to do when they, you know, go to college, what career they want to um, follow. Um, so on here, they would go on there, they would kind of discover the different options, they'll create a plan and ideas for their vision, with your help and then they can explore different jobs salaries and things like that which is i think is kind of cool um, because they're able to kind of see different options um, for what's out there so this one it, it provides kind of jobs that you wouldn't even think about um, so i know a lot of kids um awesome. like like to try new things um, the next thing, um, adult learning. So this is for the parents um, or anyone who has already graduated or is over 18 or even high school students. Um, oh, hey, Sebi. Adults. I was just, you know, I just finished my part in this live webinar. Ms. Erdl, can you please mute, you mute your microphone? 
Um, so this is for, um, it begins, it's pretty simple. So it also provides um, high school preparation, sorry, high school equivalency preparation. So anyone who's trying to get their GED, um, it also offers citizenship testing. So anyone who is a resident and trying to get their citizenship, it off offers um, classrooms of the, those uh, Microsoft Office career resources. This one I think is pretty cool because you can upload your resume and get feedback um, in a few hours. Um, on your resume. So it'll help you be able to get a job. Um, like it says here, write a winning resume, uh, which is, I think is, I think is kind of cool. Um, and also for adults, we have, uh, they have live tutoring, um, skill build, skills building, writing lab. So if you're in college and you write an essay that you have to submit for a class or something, you can submit it and they can help you with that. Not to say that can't be done with the high school and middle school students too, if they need help writing an essay, it also helps with that. Um, so I had, do have one more thing I wanted to talk about and then I'll go back to that slide. So, um, and I'm pretty sure a lot of parents have heard of this, um, but the last thing I wanted to cover was learning links. So the learning link, um, it's an e card, e library card, basically. So it's um, a library card that all HIC and A Leaf students automatically get with their student ID. Um, it's no cost. They're able to check out as many educational items as they want, um, and it's kind of cool because a lot of times, sometimes the kids can't get to the library and read books, um, but we still want them to be able to access these resources that we just talked about: the e-books, the online books, the tutoring. Um, the live tutoring that is there for them. So this is the way that they would do it. They would just go in here, log in with their um, student ID, gives you all the information on here on what their password would be and all that. And they're able to access all these awesome resources that the library has. Um, the library has, I know we just talked about too, but we have a lot of resources that usually you have to pay for, but with your library card, um, you can access, you can ask, access for free. Um, so if anyone has any questions, um, we, like Alonso and I say, we're the community engagement department, um, and you can e reach us at this email right here, hpo.mobile at houstontx.gov, um, and our direct phone number is 832-393-1533. Thank you for taking the time.